The conservative government is extending corona aid and wants to promote investments. Companies that do not invest pay extra. Britain's Treasury Secretary Rishi Sunak has set the British up for higher taxes to overcome the economic consequences of the corona pandemic. In the now iconic white shirt with his time grey tie, he presented his new budget for 2021 on Wednesday afternoon in front of the House of Commons. He should be fair and truthful. He repeated these words over and over again. First of all, there is new corona aid. The short-time work program for corona-related job losses will be extended until the end of September, as will the increase in the minimum rate of individual social benefits by £20 per week due to the pandemic. An additional £5.78 billion is available for retail and tourism damaged by the pandemic. Further aid went to theatres and other cultural institutions as well as sports. At the same time, support for the self-employed was expanded. Until July, the government will waive real estate transfer tax on the first £500,000 of a property and there will be a state guarantee program for the remainder for people who could only afford a 5% down payment when buying a home. With one of the largest and most generous responses of any country to the pandemic, as Sunak self-praised it, the aim was to mitigate corona-related shocks and avoid excessive growth in unemployment. But that also means a growing mountain of debt. According to Sunak, the national debt will increase to 96.8% of UK GDP and stabilize at that level. Sunak, who has been in office for about a year, claims to have incurred more than £407 billion in new debt, with total UK debt moving in the direction of an equivalent of €2.66 trillion. Euros. But all this, according to Sunak, has already ensured that the economic situation is better than the forecasts of the auditing office OBR. Instead of 11.9% as forecast, the unemployment rate is only 6.5%. In order to be able to afford all of this, the British would now have to reckon with measures that will bring the government's finances back in order in the long term, Sunak confessed, preferably before the next elections in 2024. Income taxes and social security amounts for employees remain the same, but corporate tax will rise from 19% to 25% by 2023 for companies with profits over £250,000. For companies with a profit between £250,000 and £50,000, the tax increases in stages and stays the same for companies below £50,000. Corporate tax hikes were still poison for the Conservatives in 2019 election campaign against Labour. But even with this increase, Britain would still have the lowest corporate tax in the G7. There is tax exemption for up to three years for loss-making companies and companies that invest can temporarily write off their investment up to 130%. This is intended to provide an incentive to invest profits. A new national infrastructure bank is also to be founded in Leeds, Northern England. Until July, the government will waive real estate transfer tax on the first £500,000 of a property. As I said, and there will be a state guarantee program for the remainder for the people who could only afford a 5% down payment when buying a home. Sunak's investments in the green renewable economy look less grand. There should be a green bank and a green investment fund and a new offshore wind farms, but funded with money in the millions, not billions. Special entry visas are intended to attract the best minds into the country. In economic terms, Sunak also wants to create eight new free ports. Extra contributions will also go to Scottish, Northern Irish and Welsh projects with specific reference to the cohesion of the United Kingdom. Perhaps that is why there was also the British icing on the cake for £22 million for nationwide celebrations for the 70th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's coronation in 2022. Despite the large numbers, Labour opposition leader Keir Starmer was not thrilled. The party leader took his party's answer personally instead of leaving it to shadow uh, finance minister Annalise Dodd, justifying this with the fact that Sunak made the actual decision for the Johnson administration. Mistakes made by the government last year led the country into the worst crisis among the world's most important economies in the first place, according to Starmer. Sunak's budget proves that his government does not understand. Ultimately, there was also a lack of measures to balance the country socially, as the Conservatives had promised in the 2019 elections, while the manufacturing industry, the financial sector and the fishing industry were still waiting for a Brexit that would also work for them. 
And the British and US governments now have agreed to suspend the levying of punitive tariffs in the subsidy dispute over Airbus and Boeing for four months. But that's not something like a trade deal some Brexiteers want to sell. They want to use this time to permanently settle the dispute and to relieve the industry which is suffering from the effects of the corona pandemic in the short term. This will give us time to negotiate a balanced solution to the disputes and to deal seriously with the challenges that come with the entry of new players into the civil aviation market, for example China, quoted Reuters from a joint statement. In December, Boris Johnson snubbed the European Commission by entering into unilateral negotiations with the United States to resolve the dispute over subsidies for Airbus and Boeing, which had been simmering for years. Shortly before Joe Biden took office, the Commission decided to respond to US punitive tariffs with its own tariffs on US products, both of which are still being levied. Airbus boss Guillaume Faurie last called in February for a ceasefire in the dispute, which, according to him, only has losers. And anyone who completes a program leading to a Doctor of Business Administration qualification will be able to use the German title even after the UK has now left the EU. That was decided by the Conference of Ministers of Education. UK's universities are often very well placed in international university rankings, names steeped in traditions such as Oxford, Cambridge or University College London promise glamour. It is hardly surprising that German educational institutions are happy to see cooperation with universities on the island. This becomes clear with the example of the Doctor of Business Administration, or DBA for short. This doctoral degree, which is much more practice-oriented than a doctorate, is offered in particular by British universities. And interesting for Germans? You can also take part in the program from here. It works like this. The participants enroll at the British University, take part in a DBA program for three or four years in a distance learning program and, depending on the concept of the German-British provider couple, study for some face-to-face -face modules on the island. One of the facilities that the British DBA has to offer is the Munich Business School. It cooperates with Sheffield Hallam University for the Foundation for International Business Administration Accreditation, accredited DBA. The business school accepts 10 students each year, each paying 36,000 euros in tuition fees. As with most, most other DBA providers, you must have a master's degree and five years of professional experience, three of which in a management position. The universities have a very good academic quality and British partners can be reached more quickly than those in the USA or Australia, says Stefan Baldi, Dean of the Business School, naming some of the advantages of the German-British business model. The DBA participants at the Munich Business School are usually managers who work in a responsible position. And their claim is someone to pursue an academic career in the long term and need a doctorate for this, says Baldi. Their goal is to become a professor at the University of Applied Sciences. After a long absence from the university, the others would once again enjoy dealing intensively with questions in their doctoral thesis, for which they have no time in everyday professional life. For example, how can a company succeed in transforming itself from a product to a system manufacturer? Or how can a company, company in the area of 3D printing and virtual reality develop approaches in order to survive in the market? The Strasek Center for Entrepreneurship, the SCE, which belongs to the University of Applied Sciences Munich, chose Edinburgh Napier University as a partner institution for its DBA program. The SCE currently has 20 students, each with two supervisors, one in Edinburgh and one in Munich. The students take six modules over the three years, each in a five-day workshop, in which, among other things, they present their research topic, explain their research philosophy, present the result of a literature search or a pilot study for the doctoral thesis. Research results are often more important for a doctorate in Germany, whereas DBA focuses on the question of the right method, 
says Klaus Seiler, SCE Managing Director and Professor of Entrepreneurship at Munich University of Applied Sciences. In addition, the British DBA is much closer to practice than the doctorate in Germany. This is noticeable in the doctoral thesis. It is very motivating for the participants when they can work on a specific and self-selected research topic from their own company, explains Seiler. The British DTA is little known to the general public. This is also due to the fact that DBA graduates in Germany receive the doctor and rarely have the British doctor in their names. This is uh, legally permitted as determined by the standing conference, the union of the 16 education ministers of the federal states. Uh, education is a federal thing in Germany. However, this regulation for the double taxation agreement does not apply if Great Britain now actually left the EU. Therefore, education providers offering the British do do doctorate were concerned about what could happen in the event of Brexit. For Jürgen Polke, director of the Private Institute for University Cooperation and International Doctoral Programs, which offers the DBA of the University of Gloucestershire, wearing the doctor title is rather subordinate. Some people see it differently. For example, von Polke tells of an interesting party, interested party who demanded a written guarantee from him that he would be allowed to do a German doctorate after completing the DBA training. Of course, I can't, he says. But what matters less is the wording of the title than the achievement of having completed the dissertation. dissertation. If you cannot communicate the value of the degree to yourself in such a way that you are proud of it, then that is regrettable, says the IHP director. In fact, the Kultusminister Conference, as it's called in German, has long since made provision for the event of Brexit. As early as May, the ministers decided that the exception rule that is already in place for other non-EU countries, such as Japan, Australia and the USA, would also apply to Great Britain. According to this, the British DBA, if it comes from a scientific doctoral procedure at a recognized British university, will also be in the form of a doctor now after Brexit, and it will be accepted. However, the Kultusminister uh, decision could only come into force when the UK really left the EU, and uh, now they really could publish it. Holders of a British DTA will be able to continue their DBA in the form of a doctor even after Brexit, explains the Kultusminister Conference consultant Matthias Anders. However, there is one reservation. Should the UK make changes to the legitimation of foreign university degrees after Brexit, the reciprocity of the recognition of academic, academic doctoral degrees would have to be readjusted, says Enders. But so far, there has been no talk of it. In the view of the Kultusminister Conference decision, which will allow DBA graduates to use the German doctorate even now after the UK left the EU, the School of International Business and Entrepreneurship at the Steinbeis University in Herrenberg in Baden-Württemberg feel confirmed in their entrepreneurial decision. SIBE, in short, has only included the DBA of the Edinburgh Business School at Harriet Watt University in its educational program since the beginning of last year. We've been offering master's programs for 25 years with a focus on application and practice. That is why the application-oriented doctoral program is the logical further development of our educational offer, says Katrina Helm, head of the DBA program. She is convinced that the DBA is becoming more and more popular. More and more school leavers are pushing their way to the universities, she says. If you want to do a doctoral thesis at the interface to practice after completing your master's degree, the DBA is a good option. And Let's hope the decision will stand and there will be no changes in the UK for this. Then that will work for a longer time. And if you want to know more, please subscribe to my channel and to my other channels. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.